After spending a lengthy time in hospital fighting against COVID-19, 76-year-old Phyllis Nelson returned home to a flat in Plasto, Newham, East London. Described as the matriarch of the community, Phyllis would cook, be in the garden trimming her holly bush, and would just overall put a smile on everyone's face. She was a really wonderful woman, and everything you'd want in a neighbour is how resident Emma Martin described her. How was it then that on the 25th of March 2021, police would be called to Phyllis's home address to reports of a murder, and her own grandson would be arrested in connection with it? All we know from reports is that on the 25th of March 2021, 31-year-old Donovan Miller called police telling them that he killed his grandmother Phyllis Nelson the day prior on the 24th. Of course, emergency services rushed to the scene, but paramedics had arrived first. Donovan would open dialogue with them as they approached, but out of nowhere he said, I raped her as well for what it's worth yesterday and today. Meaning, ladies and gentlemen, Donovan had just admitted to raping his dead grandma. He was then subsequently arrested for her murder and was charged with exactly that. In police interviews, Donovan would go on to admit that on the 24th of March, he'd hit his grandma over the head with a vase and then killed her by strangling her to death. It was then he went on to rape her dead body multiple times. He also told them that he was dependent on cocaine but had no mental health issues. Moving forward, however, he did go on to admit the lesser charge of manslaughter and sexual penetration of a corpse but denied the murder charge. In a recent hearing in court, the prosecution said that they did accept that manslaughter plea on the grounds of diminished responsibility. This came as the result of three separate psychiatrists picked up by the prosecution, all diagnosing him with having some form of mental health issue which as of right now we don't currently know. Now the reason for that is because next month is the sentencing hearing. What normally happens is if someone pleads guilty we do get a bit more information about the case like we have done today but not everything that will come with the sentencing hearing which again is next month. In that sentencing hearing we'll get to hear in-depth reporting about what exactly happened and what diagnosis Donovan was given. Of course, when that sentence and hearing comes around, I will keep you guys posted on this story. It will more than likely be over on my Instagram, which will be linked down in the description below. So I can't really imagine what the family's going through right now because we have to remember that it's two family members that are involved in this story. Of course, Donovan is Phyllis's grandson. Now, if this had happened with someone outside of the family, it would be very shocking, saddening, and disgusting, to say the least. But the fact that this was actually a family member makes this case ever so more disturbing, and it's going to be interesting seeing what comes out of court when that sentence and hearing comes around. For now, though, give the video a like for more crime-related content like this, and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Ape Honcho, and I'll see you in the next one.